What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Riley here and today I am bringing you guys another new Madden 19 video. Now I have yet to do one of these on my channel so please make sure to give me feedback in the comment section down below if you guys do enjoy this video and will want to see it in the future. But today we are going to be doing a simulation video. In this video we are actually taking over the Baltimore Ravens and we are going to see what Lamar Jackson can do with the Baltimore Ravens. Now you guys do know that he was drafted in the first round by the Baltimore Ravens but they currently still do have Joe Flacco as the starting quarterback in the game and I'm pretty sure he's going to be starting the regular season in real life too because it'd be kind of kind of ridiculous if Harbaugh just threw in Lamar Jackson right off the bat without getting any mentorship from Joe Flacco at all. But in the simulation, we can kind of change things around ourselves. So we are going to take out Joe Flacco. We actually might put him on the trade block to see what we can get for him. And then we are going to put Lamar Jackson in at the starting quarterback to see what he can do in maybe five to ten years as the Ravens starting quarterback. Well, that is if the Ravens don't go berserk and decide to trade Lamar Jackson if they don't see results out of him. Because I have put everything on auto for this simulation. I am not doing anything. We are just supervising. We're going to take a look at Lamar's stats after every year, see how far they make it in the playoffs each year and we're just going to keep track of how he's doing in his overall career so again please make sure to leave some feedback down below in the comment section if you guys do enjoy this you want to see more of them also make sure to leave comments about ideas that you would want for simulation videos that i could do in the near future also, you always can show your support by leaving a thumbs up on the video. It truly does mean a lot to me, and it does help more than you guys would think. But without further ado, we're going to jump straight into it, and I think the first thing that we're going to do is go to our depth chart and put... We're going to find a way to put Joe Flacco on the trade block. All right, found it. Just got to go to his player card, and we are going to... No, nah, I don't want to waste time trying to find a trade. We're going to put him right on the trade block and see what we can get for Joe Flacco. But without further ado, we are didn't want to hit that button. Without further ado, we are going to be making Lamar Jackson the starting quarterback of the Baltimore Ravens. He's actually already the same overall as Joe Flacco, just starting the game. That's actually pretty impressive. I did not think that the game would give Lamar Jackson a 79 overall right off the bat. Because you have quarterbacks like Josh Allen. I'm pretty sure he starts with like a 74 or 75 overall. Now, I could be wrong about that, but that's just what I'm pretty sure. I have no idea what Baker's overall is. I have no idea what Sam Darnold's is. I have not looked at those two yet, but I'm almost positive a 79 overall is really good for a rookie quarterback. But yeah, the team is not amazing. I mean, they're an 82 overall, so it's only a 78 on offense and 87 on defense. That's a ridiculous difference between offense and defense overall. But we're going to see what Lamar Jackson can do with this Ravens offense. Maybe he can lead into the playoffs first year. That would be pretty cool. I'm hoping the best for him in this. But we're just going to have to simulate and see how it goes. We're going to sim to the end of the first regular season and see how he does. All right, so after the first year of simulation with Lamar Jackson leading the Ravens offense, we go a record of 7-8-1. and eight and one. So, I mean, it's not terrible. Definitely not good. But I'm not going to complain. For a rookie quarterback starting the entire first season he's in the NFL, that's definitely not a bad record. Now we're going to go in and check his stats and see how he did this year. He passed for almost 4,000 yards. That is insane, actually. To pass for 4,000 yards as a rookie quarterback, that is pretty impressive, actually. Yeah, he had, he had almost 4,000 total yards. He had 29 touchdowns, 18 interceptions, 62% completion percentage, four, 246 yards per game and 89 passer rating on average so definitely not a horrible first year how do you do rushing usually the quarterbacks in simulation don't run the ball very much he only rushed the ball 11 times and had 32 yards i don't i don't get it i don't get it why they don't rush with the quarterback when it's in simulation like if the fact that if he was a starting quarterback there's no way he would only run the ball 11 times that just kind of blows my mind but whatever he actually has two overall upgrades already so we're gonna add those right away all right, we're definitely not going to add a scrambler because he's already got plenty for that. I'm going to add one to strong arm. And then I think I'm going to add another one to field general. So just like that, Lamar Jackson, after one year, is already up to an 80 overall. All right, so after looking at the draft recap going into the next season, we drafted a quarterback with our number one overall pick in the draft, which was the 15th. What? I'm just really confused about that because after looking at the depth chart too, I mean, he's... Right now, I mean, he's not a terrible at the beginning. He's a 76 overall. So now he's the third string. Joe Flacco actually went down two overall. So now he's a 77 and Lamar's an 80. 
So I'm not going to worry about that quarterback that we drafted. I'm not going to give him any playing time at all. This is Lamar's sim simulation. So we're definitely going to give him all the playing time and see if he can still win a championship for Baltimore. Man, the Ravens organization, man, they just don't trust Lamar. Trying to draft a new quarterback, kick him out of the system after one year. All right, now we are into year two with the Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson still sits at an 80 overall. So we are going to simulate through the second season, see how he does compared to his first season. And we're going to see if this Ravens team can do any better and maybe make the playoffs this year. Alright guys, so after the simulation of the second year, we relatively finished in the exact same spot as last year. We finished with an 8-8 eight eight record this year, so one more win I guess, we didn't tie this year. But we finished third place in the AFC North this year, so not much of an improvement from the first season at all. I mean, Lamar will go up one overall I'm pretty sure after this year. But, I mean, still, we finished relatively the same. Looking at the stats roughly from this year, he actually had a worse year. He had a sophomore slump this year. He only passed for 3,500 yards, 24 touchdowns to 7 picks, so that's a lot better than his first season. He had a 61% completion percentage, 219 yards per game, and about a 90 passer rating, around the same as last year for passer rating. But the touchdown-interception ratio is definitely the thing that sticks out. He only threw 7 this year, which is definitely a good thing. We're going to look at rushing, see if he rushed anymore. See, like... He only rushed the ball five times. Like, come on. It's Lamar Jackson. If you watch his college highlights at all, if you know who he is, he's going to run the football. That just, it annoys me, but it is what it is. All right, now it is time to upgrade Lamar Jackson again. So now we have only one skill point after this year. I mean, I'm not going to complain. It's a slow process to get good, but I think we're going to give him a strong arm, stronger arm. So he didn't even go up in overall. That's kind of depressing, but I mean, still, he's an 80 overall. Definitely not a horrible quarterback, but he can get a lot better in the future. All right, I guess after his sophomore slump, you could say, of Lamar Jackson, even though he really didn't do that la that much less than he did his rookie season, he threw for 400 less yards. Basically, he had the same year as he did his rookie year. But after his sophomore season, we are going to get into the next one as soon as possible and see if we can even make it into the playoffs with Lamar Jackson on the Ravens. And looking at the draft this year, we had the 16th overall pick in this year's draft, and we took another quarterback. Hudson Buckley out of Wisconsin. What are you doing? They take another quarterback with their number one overall pick in the draft. I'm going to check the depth chart and see if that other guy's still here. I mean, he's got to be unless we traded him because he was under rookie contract. Yeah, there he is. So we have one quarterback that's been in the league for two years, a quarterback that's been in the league for one year, and now we have another rookie quarterback. And to top that off, we have Joe Flacco, who's been in the, who's been in the league for 12 years. I really don't get this, but I'm not questioning it. This is just a simulation. All right, the team just seems to be getting worse and worse. The Ravens are not making any signings in free agency at all, so I went out of my way, actually, and signed a couple people, like four, four, maybe five players, but the two biggest ones are running back Ty Montgomery. Hopefully, he'll be able to help out because my running back was currently Hankerson, who is a 72 overall, but I did pick up Ty Montgomery. He's an 82 overall. I'm thinking he'll be able to help out Lamar Jackson a little bit on the ground. At least I sure hope so. And the other signing was actually Emmanuel Sanders, and he's already our number one wide receiver at an 83 overall. So that's really not good, but he's definitely going to be a good help to the team. But those are the two big signings that I just made in free agency at preseason. So without further ado, we're going to simulate to the end of the third year. We're going to see how Lamar Jackson's doing. We're going to see if the Ravens are the best bet for Lamar Jackson to win a title. And we're just going to see if we can finish with a record better than 8-8 eight and eight this year, for the love of God. All right, you guys. It's really not looking good. We're at the end of our third season. We're in the 2020 season, and we finished with the worst record so far. We finished dead last in the AFC North with a record of 6-10. and 10. Lamar Jackson is probably not happy with being on the Ravens right now. He finishes in the middle of his first two seasons. He finished with 3,700 passing yards this year, 24 touchdowns to 11 picks. So he's still pretty good with that ratio, I'd say, for his third year in the NFL. He had a 90 passer rating again. He's basically had that every single year he's been playing. So his third year, still a good one. But the Ravens are not looking so hot as a team. I'll say that. We do have one skill point to give Lamar Jackson after this year. I think we're going to give it to West Coast this time. We haven't upgraded that yet. And now he is up to an 81 overall after three years. All right, guys. So for the first time in a while in this year's offseason, we didn't draft a quarterback number one overall. 
I'm shocked. We actually did have a pretty good pick. With the 11th overall pick, we took a left end. Gordon Stevens, 79 overall right off the bat. So that's definitely not a bad draft pick for this team. All right, I'm thinking we're going to be in the final season with the Lamar Jackson simulation. We're in year number four. We're going into 2021 right now. And I'll show you some of the some of the signings I actually just made in the free agency. We signed Glover Quinn. We actually also signed Richard Sherman, who is going to be our third cornerback on the roster. So that's definitely going to be interesting. So these are the two big signings I just made. Glover Quinn, who is now our starting safety, and Richard Sherman, who is going to be at the three spot for cornerback. So if Lamar Jackson has a final bad year, I'm not really going to blame it on him because this team is just not giving him the parts that he needs to get a championship contender team. But without further ado, we're going to sim to the playoffs one last time and see Lamar Jackson's numbers and see if this team can make the playoffs with a miracle. All right, guys. So after the fourth and final year of simulation with Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, not looking good. We finished with a 4-12 and record and still only finished third in the AFC North. The Bengals finished two and 14. Wow, that's terrible. But we didn't finish last in the AFC North, but I'm not even gonna be happy about that because this record is awful, four and 12. We're gonna check out Lamar Jackson's stats now. He's still passed for almost 3,700 yards this year. 17 touchdowns to nine picks. 229 yards per game, 57% completion, completion, and an 80 passer rating. So it went down about 10 from the previous three seasons. So. It's easy to tell that Lamar Jackson can still keep his same stats and whatnot, even with a horrible team. So that only shows positive things for Lamar Jackson in this game. He did get one more overall point, so we're going to give that to him. His confidence actually takes one overall away from him. We're going to give him another strong arm. So he's actually at an 82 overall after the fourth season of the simulation. He's at an 81 now because of his confidence. But it is very easy to tell that using Lamar Jackson in this game is definitely going to be a good thing for you. On the Ravens in a simulation, yeah, I wouldn't trust them because they clearly do not make any signings in free agency at all. They don't keep any of their previous players because I remember the O-line was decent. It wasn't nearly this bad as what it is right now. We lost our main wide receivers. I think we lost we lost our running back, that's for sure. We lost so many pieces along these just these four years. But throughout all that and the Ravens losing all of their major players, Lamar Jackson still maintained to put up really good numbers through his first four years all the way from his rookie year up until now. But I think this is going to mark the end of the Lamar Jackson Baltimore Ravens simulation for today. If you guys do have any ideas about simulation or rebuild ideas in the near future, please make sure to leave comments down below. I will definitely be looking into them. I need more ideas for these simulations and I really do enjoy doing them so I want to keep them going on my channel. Also, if you do enjoy the simulation series and you do want to see more simulations in the future or rebuilds, please make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. It truly does help me out tremendously and it means so much when you guys show your support. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel to never miss any more Madden 19 content in the near future because I'm going to be posting a lot in the future. Again, one last time, I want to thank you guys for watching. You mean the world to me and I will see you guys next time.